Are you preparing for a job interview? Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, having a good answer to the top 10 job interview questions is essential to landing your dream job. In this video, we're going to be going over the top 10 interview questions and provide tips on how to answer them in a way that's going to set you apart from the competition. At the end of this video, you're going to have all the knowledge you need to ace your job interview and be one step closer to your ideal career. Question number one, tell me about yourself. This question can often be the most nerve wracking part of any interview, but fear not, it's not really as daunting as it may seem. The interviewer is simply looking for an introduction to who you are both professionally and personally. What you're going to do is start with a brief summary of your professional background and experience, highlighting any skills or achievements that may be relevant to the job you're interviewing for. This could include your education, work history, and any certifications or awards you've received. Next, share a bit about yourself on a personal level. Talk about your interests or hobbies just a little bit, and maybe a little bit about your family or where you're from. This can help humanize you and show the interviewer that you're more than just your resume. Now, keep in mind that the interviewer isn't looking for your entire life story, so try to keep your answer concise and relevant. Aim for a response that's around two to three minutes long at max. With a little bit of preparation and practice, you'll be able to confidently introduce yourself in any job interview. Question number two, what are your strengths? This is another common question that hiring managers like to ask during job interviews. The goal of this question is to get an idea of what you can bring to the table and what you can contribute to the company if you're hired. It's also a chance for you to highlight your best qualities and showcase your abilities. When answering this question, it's really important to keep the job description in the top of your mind. Look for skills and qualities that the company is specifically looking for and try to highlight those in yourself. It's also important to give specific examples of times when you've used your strengths to achieve success. For example, you might say, one of my greatest strengths is my ability to communicate effectively with people at all levels of an organization. In my previous job, I was responsible for leading a team of people from different departments and my ability to clearly communicate goals and expectations helped us achieve our objectives on time and under budget. Remember to keep your answer concise and focus on the job you're interviewing for. Don't be afraid to highlight your strengths because this is your chance to shine. Question number three, why do you want this specific job? This question is your chance to demonstrate that you've done your research and have a genuine interest in this company and this specific role. You're going to avoid generic answers like, well, because it pays well or because it's close to home. Instead, tailor your answer to the specific company and the position. Here are some tips. Tip number one, emphasize what you can bring to the role. Focus on the skills and experiences you have that make you a good fit for the job. For example, if you're applying for a marketing role, you might say, hey, I have a passion for creating engaging content that resonates with target audiences, and I believe this role would allow me to do that. Tip number two, show your enthusiasm for the company. If you've researched the company, mention something specific that impressed you. This could be a recent project they worked on, their mission statement, or their reputation for excellence. For example, you might say, hey, yeah, I've been following the success of XYZ company for a while now, and I'm impressed by how they're innovating in the industry. Tip number three, explain how the job fits into your career goals. Give the interviewer an idea of where you see yourself in the future and how this job would help you get there. This shows that you're motivated and you have a plan. For example, you might say, yeah, I see this job as an opportunity to build upon my skills in project management, which is a key area of interest for me. Ultimately, I'd like to become a project manager myself, and I believe this role would help me get there. Remember, your answers should always be honest and authentic. Question number four, where do you see yourself in five years? This is a question that is often asked in job interviews and one that can leave many people feeling unsure about how to actually answer. Now the key is to strike a balance between showing ambition and enthusiasm for your career while also being realistic and grounded in your expectations. One way to approach this question is to start by outlining your long-term career goals. For example, you might say that in five years you see yourself as a senior manager within the company and you might be leading a team of your own. This shows that you're focused on your career and you have a clear idea of where you want to go. However, it's also important to be aware that five years is a long time in the working world, and things can change rapidly. 
So it's a good idea to also talk about the skills and experiences you hope to gain over the next few years that will help you achieve your long-term goals. This shows that you're willing to work hard and take on new challenges in order to progress in your career. Finally, it's worth mentioning that you're also open to opportunities outside of the company if they align with your career goals. This shows that you're ambitious and willing to take risks to achieve your ambitions, but also realistic and aware of the wider job market. Question number five, what about 10 years? Asking where you see yourself in 10 years may seem like a really impossible question to answer, but it's actually a great opportunity to show your ambition and your career goals farther than the five-year question. Here are some tips for answering this question. Tip number one, be specific. Don't just give your cookie cutter generic answer about being successful or happy. Think about the type of role you would like to have and what industry or company you see yourself working in a decade from now. Tip number two, show growth. Use this question to talk about how you plan to develop your skills and grow professionally over the next decade. Tip number three, align with company values. Consider how your career goals align with the company's mission and values. This shows that you're invested in the company's success and want to contribute long term, which makes it more likely that they will actually hire you. Here's a sample answer. In 10 years, I see myself in a leadership role within this company, overseeing a team and contributing to its growth and success. I plan to continue developing my skills in areas such as project management and strategic planning. And I believe that this company's commitment to innovation and collaboration aligns well with my values and goals. Question number six. Tell me about a time when you faced a challenge at work and how you handled it. This question is often used to assess how a candidate deals with difficult situations and their problem-solving skills. When answering this question, it's essential to be specific and provide a concrete example. Avoid general statements that don't really add value to your response. What you're going to do is start by briefly explaining the situation and the challenge you faced. Make sure you emphasize how it impacted your job or the team's performance. Next, describe how you tackled the problem and the steps you took to resolve it. Highlight any resources you use, such as seeking help from colleagues or supervisors. Finally, mention the outcome and what you learned from the experience. Show how you took responsibility for the situation and grew from it. It's important to be honest and transparent while also framing the story positively. For example, you could say something like, In my previous job, we had to prepare for an important presentation with a tight deadline. One of my team members was out sick, which put additional pressure on the rest of us. I organized a meeting to assign tasks and adjust the timeline to meet the deadline. We worked overtime and collaborated closely to make sure we presented a high quality product. As a result, we received excellent feedback from the clients and our supervisors who actually praised us for our dedication and teamwork. I learned the importance of contingency planning and supporting my team when they need it the most. By answering this question thoughtfully and succinctly, you'll demonstrate your ability to overcome obstacles and make the most of challenging situations. Question number seven. Tell me about a time when you made a mistake at work. When it comes to job interviews, one of the most nerve-wracking questions is tell me about a time when you made a mistake at work. It's a really tough question because nobody really likes to admit their failures, but it's an important one because it shows how you handle mistakes and what you learn from them. First of all, it's important to be honest. Don't try to sugarcoat the mistake or make excuses for it. That's not what you want to do. You want to take responsibility for your actions and show the interviewer that you're willing to own up to your mistakes. Next, talk about what you learned from the mistake. Did it teach you a valuable lesson about a certain process or procedure? Did it highlight a weakness that you need to work on? Make sure to show the interviewer that you didn't just sweep the mistake under the rug, but instead used it as a learning opportunity. And lastly, talk about how you corrected the mistake and made sure it wouldn't happen again. This shows the interviewer that you take proactive steps to fix your mistakes and improve yourself. An example of this could be something like, well, at my previous job, I accidentally sent out an email to the wrong distribution list, which caused some confusion and delay in our project. I immediately acknowledged my mistake and apologized to the effective parties. From that mistake, I learned the importance of double-checking details before sending out important communications. I took the initiative to create a checklist for myself and shared it with my team to ensure we don't make similar mistakes in the future. Remember, mistakes happen to everyone. What's important is how you handle them and what you learn from them. Use this question as an opportunity to showcase your problem-solving skills and ability to learn from these mistakes. Question number eight. What are your salary expectations? 
Uh, the good one, the salary question. What you're going to do here is research industry standards in the position's average salary range. Then you'll provide a reasonable salary expectation based on that information, considering your experience and the value you bring to the role. Remember, give a salary range, not an exact salary. Question number nine. How do you handle stress and pressure? What you're going to do here is discuss strategies you employ to stay calm and focused during challenging situations. Mention techniques like prioritization, time management, communication, or that you seek support from colleagues. Question number 10. Do you have any questions for me? Towards the end of every single job interview, the interviewer will inevitably turn the tables and ask if you have any questions for them. This is a great opportunity for you to demonstrate your interest and enthusiasm for the role, as well as to clarify any doubts or concerns that you may have about the job. So, what kind of questions should you be asking? Firstly, avoid asking questions that are too personal or really irrelevant to the job. Instead, focus on questions that will help you better understand the position, the company, and your potential colleagues. For example, you could ask about the company's culture, goals, or any recent projects. You could also inquire about the team dynamics, your role's responsibilities, or really any opportunities for growth and development. Companies love questions about growth and development. So, some sample questions could include these. What are some of the most significant challenges facing the company right now? How does this role contribute to the company's overall mission and objectives? Can you tell me about the team I'm going to be working with and their strengths and weaknesses? How does the company encourage and support professional development for its employees? What do you consider to be the ideal candidate for this role? Asking thoughtful questions not only demonstrates your interest and engagement, but also shows that you're proactive and have done your research. So before your interview, please take some time to read up on the company, its values, and its current projects. This is going to help you ask relevant and intelligent questions that showcase your suitability for the role. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more information and our educational videos.